Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here back with another kit review on footy.com and today we've got this vibrant away kit from Celtic for the 29-20 season from New Balance of course. Don't forget though if you are new to footy.com make sure you hit that subscribe button. But we're going to dive into this uh, away kit. We've already covered the home kit on this channel. What score did we get that one? Can you remember? It didn't do that well. Oh, wow, yeah. 57. Oh wow, yeah. It's really... well, the third lowest one uh, <laughs> yeah. to be accurate. It was, there. We panned it. Um, so this yeah. one, well, yeah. good luck Celtic with this one basically. Phil, go on, what's your take on this one? Well, is it better than the home one? It's a lot better than the home one. And, and Why actually, is it better than the home one? So for me, and I have to ignore the colour because I must admit that is... That's a NAF um, colour, isn't it? A NAF colour, which it looks very similar, possibly the same as the Porter home colour. So if you've seen... Theirs is like that. this, but blue at the top instead, is not it? Porter? Yeah, uh, yeah, very similar, yeah. And this one... I do like it. I think I like I like it when Celtic have yellow kits and they've had a good couple of ones in the past. You know, this one obviously it's in the New Balance template, so we should yeah. mention that. Uh, I don't dislike this as much as some of the other kits, like Liverpool's away kit, where the template felt like it was actually ruining the design. I think this one it sort of stands on its own, and I do really like the colour combo. I think that nice shade touch of, with the crest as well, obviously. Exactly, yeah, the crest, the sponsor works, and I think that shade of kind of. A green or tealy kind of colour. I think it looks really good. Um, What's with the, uh, the pattern on it as well? It's like a little kind yeah, of checked I, pattern. It is, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I can't think of a previous Celtic. <laughs> I kit. bet it just says it's tar. Yeah, tar, tar, what's oh, here we go. Here we go. It's uh, a modern tar. geometric inter interpretation of the four leaf clover. <laughs> a what? So, How is that uh, four leaf clover? I, I, all I'm seeing is uh, uh, squares. squares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I do I do like it. And actually, it, it depends on what, what shot you get. And some of the first shots aren't that great. But actually, when you look at it, I think when you get a good view of that, yeah. Top of the it does look good, and I do like, um, as you say, with the crest and what they've done with the sponsor and everything, it looks quite smart. And I think you know, there's a few things which, unfortunately, I, I would you know, I'd like to see a bit better S stuff like the collar, but also yeah. the cuffs. And I, I haven't minded the, the New Balance's cuff design this year. The Bahrain flag, to, yeah, the Bahrain flag exactly. And I think for this one though, it doesn't to me it doesn't match with the the design. Although having said that, they've at least got the color right uh, and the placement's okay. But um, yeah, yeah, I think. To me, it's considerably better than the home shirt. I think this one actually. I like how the colour is called it. lemon chrome. Is Lem it actually called lemon? Two dust? words I would wow. never thought I would see together: lemon I, chrome. I love a good. I like the idea of so many marketing sat there coming up with fancy. <laughs> I reckon they just that's throw great. two words together, and that's then the kit template for next season. Like, uh, I don't know, like oh, I, can't, I can't think of what I'm crazy enough. <laughs> that's why I'm not designing kits. But <laughs> basically, do. yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I do think I do think it's a good combo. I can't think. I think the last kit. Uh, so a yellow kit that Celtic had was when they were with Nike. So it's yeah. about time you bought a yellow. Celtic I always think kit. of Henry Larson. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. And I think with Umbro, there was a good couple of kits actually. And to be honest, I think again, I think it's a good combo. And I do like that that shady green though. It does look almost almost black in some. It of does. The yeah. Some photos that I, when I've looked at like a side on a laptop, so the screen blurs. I thought it was black. And, I and I think when you look at that, to me, it looks a lot worse as in when you as compared to when you look at the colour yeah. coming out in some of the shots. See, even, even, nice even that shot, I really like the, the combo. So um, the one now, which is on the photos mm. inside there, it looks a lot nicer than it. Yes, yeah. I do love that. And I think again, to, not to talk too much about the colour yellow, but I do think that shade of yellow is really nice. It was a little bit of gold it's deep, in there. Isn't it? it is, yeah. It's the you know again. What's like, a, like a lemon chrome, I would say. <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> I, I do think you know if it, this had been a kind of more in Dortmund vibes from this view. Yeah, I, I think it's a really good combo. You see, even like in the tracksuit there, I know that's just the tracksuit, but with the green, I think the yellow and the green, it is it's just a nice look. I think it does work. So this is the bit of the video where you've got to give it a score, Phil. Um, obviously, as you mentioned earlier, the Celtic home kit got a, a whopping fifty-seven. Uh, it, it was a bit of a you know. It was a, a bang average shirt, really. It wasn't a terrible shirt, but it was mm. it was poor. By the standards of this season, anyway, we've been lots of very good shirts so far. But what are you going to give this one? Yeah, I'm really struggling to, to place this because I actually I hate to mention the collar, but if the collar was good, I actually think this could have been a sneaking into the 80s. Really? It's, it's wow. like, yeah, I do, I'm surprised I do, I do really like that. It. Yeah, I do really like it, but unfortunately, the collar is... A, a fundamental part of the shirt. It yeah. does affect it. Well, of course it is, yeah. Um, but, you know, looking at that, if I'm honest, um, would I rather have this than the Bryson shirt? I probably would, despite some of my reservations. I um, think it's more interesting than the Bryson shirt. Yeah. I, would be, I don't I, sure I like the design, but I, I like probably, it's more I probably wouldn't say... I mean, to me... Oh, Rangers are there. Can see, Rangers are there. And actually, I'll be honest, I, I think I prefer it to Rangers. But having said that, I don't like it as much as Ajax away, so it's either going to be a 77 or a 76. I think um, I prefer Barcelona's home shirt as well, wouldn't Okay, it? yeah. No, I'll give it, I'm going to give it a 77. Controversially, Pippin <laughs> ranges by one point. But I do think 
Um, again, with a good colour, this is this is a, a Okay, well, that's um, a 10 of the box. I did not expect mm. it to go down that well. As ever, guys, let us know if you agree with that score. Go and check out the Celtic home shirt review as well. Go check out all the reviews uh, if you want to check out the Rangers one. Be bold. Go for that too. Uh, basically, uh, this is 40.com. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to this channel. Go and check out our review of yesterday's... What was yesterday's kit we reviewed? It's today. Um, uh, Inter's. Inter. Inter. Like it. Very good. What a beautiful shirt that is. Mm. Uh, as you can see, that's, that was around the top of 87. I'll just give a spoiler away there, haven't I? Because that's not on the screen anymore. Oh well, deal with it. <laughs> and we'll see you very, very soon for another kit review.